Police arrested a man they say is responsible for a double murder Friday night. Officers arrested 29-year-old Joe Guerrero yesterday, and he is charged with capital murder. At the time of his arrest, police say he pointed a gun at an officer, but then quickly dropped it. The shooting happened in the 2900 block of Mary Street. Police say an argument led up to that shooting. A mother and daughter were both killed. 44-year-old Carolyn Ann Peña and her daughter, 27-year-old Carolyn Cantu. A third person was also injured and their condition is unknown this evening. And we now know the name of the woman whose body was discovered on Slough Road. According to Nueces County Medical Examiner's Office, 48-year-old Brenda King died from a gunshot wound to the head. Police believe that King was killed there at the scene. If you have any information about this murder, we urge you to call Crime Stoppers. There's a new development in the John Henry uh, Ramirez capital murder case as attorneys filing a motion today with U.S. District Court Judge Nelda Ramos asking her to reevaluate a 2015 order. The 34-year-old Ramirez claims he's being held in state prison in violation of his constitutional rights, that he had ineffective representation, and that one of his attorneys, Michael Gross, who represented him in state habeas court, had a conflict in representing him in federal habeas court. Gross had been appointed by the court to represent Ramirez throughout his federal habeas proceedings, but a 2013 decision by the state Supreme Court discouraged continuity of representation. In December 2009, you'll recall that Ramirez was convicted of capital murder and the brutal death of Pablo Castro and has been on death row ever since. But two days before he was scheduled for execution, a judge granted him a stay. Expect many more developments in this case. The Nueces